Community Center. She quickly developed into a dominant lefty with a devastating changeup and into a dynamic hitter opposing pitchers feared. In 1991, at the Junior World Championships in New Zealand, she pitched a no-hitter. In 1993, she played in the Canada Cup. In 1994, the Pan Am Games in Argentina, Canada finished fourth. In 1996, she was an Olympic team alternate. In 1997, Pan Am qualifier in Colombia. 1998 were the World Championships in Japan, and Canada was fifth. And Canada Cup, an all-star designate. In 1999, it was the Canada Cup and Winnipeg's Pan Am Games where Sandy pitched a no-hitter against Netherland Antilles and lost 1-0 in extra innings against the United States. In 2000, Three Nations Cup, Canada Cup, and Australia Olympics. In 2001, Pan Am qualifier in Venezuela, Canada won silver. The Three Nations Cup, Sandy was MVP. At the Canada Cup, Sandy pitched against the USA gold medalist in Wisconsin, winning 1-0 in a USA televised game. I'll bet they hated that. <laughs> With Sandy's pitching, Winnipeg Smitties competed often and brilliantly at the Women's Canadian Senior A Championships. In 1993, they won bronze. 1994, silver. Sandy was top player, top batter in round robin, MVP in the championship round. In 1995, gold, Sandy, top pitcher. 1996, gold, Sandy, top batter, all-star pitcher. 1997, gold, Sandy, top pitcher, top player. 1999, what do you think they won? <laughs> gold, Sandy, top player. 2000, silver. 2001, gold. 2002, gold, Sandy, MVP in the playoff round. She retired, I think it was from carrying all the hardware home. <laughs> but when Smitty's requested her return in 2007, she and Heather mentored the younger Smitty's to gold in 2007 and silver in 2008. With all these incredible appearances internationally and nationally, you can imagine that all of her provincial awards are just too numerous to mention. For almost two decades, Sandy Savvy, persistence, dedication, and courage ignited and delighted teammates, fans, and above all, her dedicated parents. When Sandy pitched 12 consecutive games for Smitty's at the Nationals in Winnipeg, she experienced a severe sore arm, was unable to lift it from her jersey, yet continued to pitch in league play. When busy with university studies and softball commitments, she continued to coach at softball and deliver development clinics. In 2012, Sandy was inducted into the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame. The Manitoba Softball Association is privileged that a player with such gift, talent, and character will be in our Hall of Fame. Like her sister, Heather, I saw Sandy win when she was curling this winter, and if her softball talent transcended to curling, I'm glad I got out and she never got in. So please join me in welcoming an international talent into the Manitoba Softball Hall of Fame, Sandy Lucian. <laughs>